All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's Garrett Craker. I hope everyone is doing good today. We are at one of the go-to spots here, which is Sanders Beach right on Coeur d'Alene Lake. And it just started to sprinkle a little bit right now, but other than that, it's just very calm. I wanted to talk today about liens and if there's a lien on your property and how to find out if there is one. And it's something that you will want to find out pronto and as soon as you can. It could really hinder the process of getting your home sold and often it can go unnoticed for quite a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the three main liens here that, um, that you'll see and how to do a property search by address to find out if there's any liens on your current property or home. So you may be asking what even is a lien? And in the most basic terms, it's a legal notice that's attached to your property from an unpaid debt. So that unpaid party has a legal portion when you go to sell your home. And typically most of the times it will not even allow you to refinance or sell your home. So it's very important to get that under control and find out if there's any lien attached to anything related to your property before selling. So liens fall into three different categories. And the first one is mechanical or contractor lien. And that is if you hire someone to do any kind of home improvement projects on your house and you fail to pay them for their service, then there will be a lien filed against you. And next up is tax liens. And that is if any taxes go unpaid, including property tax. Third is a judgment lien, and that is a court ruling that you uh, owe the other party money. And that is medical debt, uh, credit card debt, child support, um, things like that. So those, those are the three categories of liens. So all of the liens are a matter of public record, and so it is simple to find out if there is one on your property. And fortunately, in most states, you could start by searching the property through the county recorder, or the clerk, or the assessor's office, and it is all free to do so online. However, you might have to pay for a copy of the report itself. And so it does vary from state to state. That's one way of doing it. So we got two more ways of finding out also if there's any liens attached to your property. And one of them is through Property Shark. And they have an online portal where you can search up any address and find out if there is a lien attached to that property. And another way is hiring a title company. And they will do all of the research and legwork for you, but it will cost. Um, and in the end, it's in, in the long run, it's a lot of the work that you could be doing yourself for free. And if you're interested in any kind of property, it's always recommended to do uh, conduct the, your own research so there's no surprises at the end. All right, you guys, so that is the information on liens today and the three categories for liens and on how important it is to know if there are any before you go to sell your house. So if you guys have any other questions or concerns, leave them down in the comments. And uh, if you have any other uh, video recommendations, let me know. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.